In this video, we are going to learn the relationship between addition and subtraction. And we know that addition and subtraction are opposite of each other. To add and to add is the opposite of subtract. Now we are going to use specific terms. Let's look at the pattern. We have 3 plus 4 give us 7. Keep that in mind. 3 and 4 equals 7. But what happens when we take 7 minus 4 equal to 3? Okay. And what about when we take 7 minus 3 equal to 4? Do you notice the pattern? When we take 7 minus 4, right, that is the opposite of 3 plus 4. So to some extent, what's happening here is this. If I look at 7 minus 4 equal to 3, what's happening here? What is the opposite of this minus 4? Well, the opposite of that is equal to plus 4. And 3 plus 4 give us what? 7. There you go. And the same thing right here. 7 minus 3 equal to 4. Well, what's the opposite of minus 3? Plus 3. That is the same thing as 7. And we are going to look at this relationship to find out what's the missing number. So again, opposite of addition is subtraction and the better term of the use opposite is inverse okay that means and we are going to look at the definition inverse very carefully with more example going back to the same concept 3 plus 4 equals 7 which is equal to 4 plus t equal to 7 so it doesn't matter if 3 and 4 go first okay now to illustrate an example we have a box that's missing right here. We have 7 minus that box equal to 4. Well, in this case, you see that 7 minus that box? Well, what is that box going to equal to? It's the opposite, right? So we can have this 7 equal to 4. What's the opposite of subtraction? Adding that box. Well, what's 4 plus in the box equal to 7? Let's count it. We have 4. Let's count it. We have 5, 6, 7. So what is that number right there? That is 3, right? So therefore, this goes to be 3. Another way to illustrate is this. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. Using our basic definition of addition. And we're going to count 5, 6, 7. There you go. 3 more. Now let's do some practice problem together. We have this number. Find the missing addon. 3 plus blank equal to 8. Again, what's the opposite of addition? So what we have here is this subtraction, right? So we can rewrite that. 3 is equal to 8 minus that box. And let's count backward. Well, we have 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's count backward until we get a 3. We have boom, 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 boom. We notice 3 right there, right? So how many do we just subtract right here? Well, that is 5. So the missing number is 5 right there, okay? And of course, when you get to advanced math, there is a completely different world out there that makes your life a lot easier. Right now, we're trying to understand what is really happening here visually. The same thing here, okay? A box plus 6 equal to 9. Well, we're adding 6 right here, right? Okay, let's look at a different way. What's the opposite of adding 6? Well, we can subtract 6. So in this case, that box is equal to 9 minus 6, which is the opposite of adding, right? What's 9 minus 6? So 9, let's, let's start drawing out 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, they can write yes. And minus 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What do we have left? 3. So the answer is 3. And what about this one? 1 plus a box equal to 4. What is the opposite of plus? Again, minus right here, okay? So what we have here is 1 equal to 4 minus that box. And what is that going to be? Same thing. We're going to start with a 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And we're going to count all the way backward until we get a 1. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, there you go. That's a 1. So what's this? 3. So the box is 3. And that is all we have to do. And that's the relationship between subtraction and addition. Now let's plug in our practice problem to see our answer is correct or not. So here we have what? 
we have 5 here. 3 plus 5 is 8. Okay, 3 plus 6 is 9. And 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. And there you go. And then we check our answer. If you would like more practice problems, go to the link below and click on it. Now, if you like this video, share with other students and teachers. So that way they can use the same video to help other students in your class. And if you like this video, remember to click subscribe and thumb up. And we'll see you next time on another video. Thank you.